Welcome to the Teachers to Tech podcast. I'm your host, Dean. This is the podcast where we tell you how you can grow your tech skills, whether you're starting from scratch or just want to go farther. You might be thinking about a new job, a whole new career, or just a new hobby. We'll have something for everyone, so keep listening. This is episode 101 of the Teachers to Tech podcast, and I'm sure you have a few questions we'd like to answer just to start out. What's it about? What is this podcast about? Well, this podcast is set up to help especially teachers, but anyone else who says, I need to learn how to grow tech skills. Maybe you want to move around in the job market, or you need to get some other things done on your job you haven't done before, or you're just curious about what kind of tech is out there that you can play with and work with we are going to explore tons of different technology opportunities and we're going to start from zero so you will be able to learn along with us you do notice that we have it kind of targeted at teachers there will be a few times when i'm going to be able to specifically relate to teachers but this information is good for anybody so the next thing you might be wondering is why is this podcast especially targeted at teachers let me tell you a quick story I work in a high-tech industry right now, and one of the things I do is interview people for a position of instructor on that high-tech equipment. I have had multiple teachers come in and interview with me, and the last one that came in, I looked at his teaching record and his apparent abilities from talking with me and thought this would be a great person to have in front of my room, but he had no evidence of any technical abilities abilities to learn my equipment and teach it to others and I thought man that's a big gap that's a shame and I had to email him and say I'm sorry this wouldn't be the right position for you he emailed me back and said well gee how could I get a technical background and I had already been thinking about a podcast like this and I thought I have some general answers I can give him in an email but there is not enough space or time for for me to tell him everything that he could do to get technical knowledge and technical skill in a hurry and start breaking in. So I got myself in gear and this podcast was born. I have talked with multiple teachers who tell me all the same things, that the work is demanding, the pay doesn't really match the demands of the work, and in some cases they don't have supportive administration either. These are reasons they say they're interested in leaving teaching. Now, I'm not here to knock the profession, but I do know that research is showing that teachers always had a decent turnover rate, but now it's bumped up since COVID for a number of factors. Again, I don't want to get into that because I'm not here to knock teaching. I just want to acknowledge that there are teachers who are interested in looking around at other things, and this is one of the places they can come to get resources they need. Of course, the next question is, well, Dean, why should I listen to you? Well, let's start with my experience. I have years of experience teaching people how to repair and program robots. Before that, I was working as the director of educational technology at a local college campus, and that included teaching technical classes to students who, some of them, had never been on a computer before and had to learn Microsoft applications. During those times, I was also involved with hiring. And I've had other jobs, such as programming data that are related and further jobs that have been related to hiring. So I have that aspect, the professional end. But let me tell you a story about my self-taught side. And this is the part I want you to relate to most as far as your own journey. I'm sitting in a call center at night, afternoon shift, real nice, right? Nothing is happening there, but I can hear a conversation just a couple cubes away. So I listen to the whole thing because I'm bored stiff. And there's somebody that has come from another call center and said, listen, this company rewards certain things. I worked at this other account, same company, and there was a whole set of forms we had to fill out. Well, one of the guys I worked with figured out how he would write one program that would fill out all the forms, made everybody's job easier. And not only were they happy with that, but he got a big bonus too. And I said to myself, gee, I kind of like programming computers myself and I like bonuses. 
So I got my hands on some material that related to the kind of programs we were using, and I replicated that. I actually taught myself some programming, built the kind of program that we needed to keep track of our labor hours at that call center, and wouldn't you know it, things turned out very well for me after that. That is the kind of thing I have in mind when I'm telling you the material is available, it's accessible so that you can learn it, and it's worth going after. I want to take a minute right here and point out that nothing I say here constitutes any kind of offer of employment on the part of my current employer or past employer, and nothing represents the opinions of my current or past employers. This is strictly my own set of opinions and advice. We've answered a couple of questions about who we are and what we're doing here. Let's talk about how we're going to do it next. The general plan of this podcast will be to take one topic at a time. Now, that could be something very specific, a certain feature of some technology you might want to learn to use, or it could be something general like, what is a database? How does it work? Where would I see this at work? How can I practice working with one? What resources are out there for me to learn how to use this? So we'll explain it. We'll get you to some resources. In some cases, I might even do some teaching myself that you can get to either on YouTube or some other method where you can open up and learn a little bit more immediately. We will also once in a while throw in some tips and tricks as they come up to make your life easier. And it turns out that people like being on podcasts. So apparently, without even having this podcast running yet, I've got two or three volunteers to do interviews with me. The main point here is that every week there should be some kind of takeaway where you can say, that is what I want to pursue and I know exactly how to do it. I have a next step. I know where to go. I know what I'm going to learn. I know why I want to learn it. Most of our episodes will have unique content unless we have a topic so big that we need to split it up. You can see that this podcast is fairly short. I'm planning to do 15 to 20 minutes tops for most podcasts. Makes that very listenable for those of you that have a short commute or just want to listen on your lunch hour or while you're taking care of one or two chores around the house. But even when we split a topic up over two podcasts, you'll still have a fairly short time to spend to learn one thing that we're teaching in the podcast, and in that way, you can get into new material quickly. Hopefully, at this point, I've convinced you that you can do this and that this podcast can help. I'd like to make a couple of acknowledgments before I wrap up this episode. First, I need to tell you that the music you're hearing throughout the podcast is Marathon Man by Jason Shaw. And if you're a teacher and you're thinking about maybe moving to a different grade, moving to a different school, or moving to a different career, you really should check out the Teacher Career Coach podcast by Daphne Gomez. Now, I don't know Daphne, and I don't get anything for recommending that podcast, but it was recommended to me by somebody who loves it. I listened to it and thought, man, this is a great help for teachers. So check that out. In our next episode, we're going to take just a minute to define what we mean by tech and technology. And then we are going to start dividing up that fast world we call technology into manageable chunks. There are a lot of facets. We want to find one that appeals to you and break it down so we can learn that in manageable bits. That way we don't get overwhelmed and we can see progress. And that's a good way to find out just the thing that's right for you to start with. So join us again next time. Until then, keep learning. That's all we have for today. This is Dean saying thanks for listening. And we hope to have you back with us next time on Teachers to Tech.